after a long decision with my family, I finally figured out where I wanted to go. And I felt like going with Nick Saban would be home for me. Coming in as a second string running back as a freshman isn't bad. And I'm going to be put up to the test. But I laid that boom early on as you can see that stiff arm. Very much a Derrick Henry Jr. moment. But as you can see, I take it to the crib early on. And I mean, I was gone. As you can see, Derrick Paduki Jr. was running through these defenders all day. He is a dog. But as you can see, coach said you're doing well. And next week, you could challenge for that next string. Going into my first game in the Chick-fil-A kickoff against Virginia Tech didn't start off well. I mean, I'm riding the bench and it doesn't feel good to sit on a bench. I'm going to always root my team on the stay pace, but my time finally can and I had a jet option, but he didn't hand me that ball off, so I tried to go out and block. As we drive down the field, I get another option and I get the ball for the first time and almost go for that first down, but I didn't. And I get it again, and as you can see, I hit that sideline on fourth and one, and oh my God, I about went for six. As you can see, we end them the old-fashioned way, and I end the game off with three carries and 17 yards. Not a so good game. As you can see, coaches gave me another opportunity to move up that depth chart and be running back number one. And as you can see, I'm going to take advantage of it. I mean, I was breaking tackles early. And I'm going to give you a long day. But as you can see, you have an outside zone. And I bounce it back inside and try to go for six. But they tackle me. But that won me my position battle. As you can see, going into the next play, I have a screen play. I catch that ball out of that backfield. And I get a burst of speed. And as you can see, I absolutely break one tackle. I run through him and get in that box. So I was just short. But talking to coach after practice, he said, congratulations. You are now the number one running back on the depth chart. Going into our next game against number five, two. 0 Texas A&M. As you can see, I get that inside zone early on on second and 10 and take it for the first down. Going into the next play on second and two, it's like I'm like a load to bring down. He is not coming down. Derek Paduki Jr. is a dog. As you can see, he is just in the crowd having this second carry because he is starting to feel it. But going into the next play on inside zone, he boom over this defender and goes in his own for his first career touchdown. Going into the next play on second and six, he's being a key player. He sees the safety comes down to go inside and he goes outside and he goes all the way for six. I mean, two in one game as a freshman is crazy. Going into the next play on first and 10, I hit that hole inside zone. I juke, juke, get back outside. And as you can see, I'm just going to outrun this defender and I will do so. And I go all the way for another one. Going into the next play on first and 10, this defense is having a problem with Derek Paduki Jr. all night. As I hit that outside again, I break one tackle. And as you can see, I keep going, but I finally get tackled. I get up and water outside and tell him, look at the back of my jersey because it will be remembered. As you can see, we're going to win a game. And I have a pretty big ball out game with 23 carries, 277 yards, and four total TDs. Going into our next game against one on one college. Colorado State. As you can see, I had an inside zone. I hit that hole and I bounced it back outside. And I mean, it was nothing but to outrun everybody. And I was going up that sideline, but then I got tackled. And he is starting off with the juice early on. On first and 10, we had an inside zone. I absolutely run through him and drag him for that first down. He is coming with bad intentions. He is not here to play. But on second and eight, I hit that hole. I throw him off of me. I break another tackle and I hit that right sideline, but then I got brought down. Every run I get is going for 10 to 15 yards. First and 10, I break through that middle again on inside zone. And I mean, that hole was so open as you can see we are marching down that field on first and ten i tripped myself up before i went in that end zone to the next play on second and one i get a sweep and as you can see i go into that end zone and i told them boys it's over with we're going to win the game but as you can see i end the game off with 25 carries 221 yards and one rushing td to our next game against number 23 two and one old miss as you can see i have an inside zone and i hit that hole and i zigzag back out and i zigzag back in and i almost break but he shoestring me as you can see on third and go we strike early i push that rock in going into the next play on second and 12 it was supposed to be an outside play but i bounce it back up and i go get that first down with bad intentions going into the next play on second and four as you can see we had a jet option but i break one tackle as i break another tackle i hit that sideline and i will go all the way for six and i was fired up going into the next play on second and four i run into my teammate but that didn't stop me i still went and got that first down they need some help out there but going into the next play on fourth and one big time players make big time plays and i will lay my head down lay that boom but i ended the game off for 32 carries 216 yards and four tds going into our next game against three and one georgia state we have to come out in 10. So we start off with a stretch on second and 10. And I absolutely run him over. I juke. Made a miss and got up that field. And as you can see, he shoestring tackled me. To the next play on first and 10, I have a jet option. And I bounce it out left. And I see nothing but that end zone. And I will go all the way for six. And I was turned up. But on 30 inches, as you can see, I break one tackle. Break another tackle. I spent out of that and almost broke. But I got brought down. Eric Baduki Jr. is becoming a problem. But on third and one, as you can see, he goes in with another touchdown. Going into the next play on second. And three, we run that ball right up that middle, and the DB try to come down and hit me, but I ran through him. We're going into the next play on second and two, I run that ball up that middle, and Derrick Biduki Jr. is searching for another one. He will get what he's looking for. Going into the next play on first and goal, he runs that ball right up the gut for another one. 
to our next game against Kentucky. I juke juke get up that field, and as you can see, I will hit that right sideline, and no one is gonna catch Derek Baduki Jr. as he go all the way for six early on. I mean, I was absolutely fired up. That is a way to start the game off. Going to the next play on first and ten, as you can see, he pitched me that ball, and as you can see, Kentucky defense is having a problem with my speed. I am out running everybody all day. Going into the next play on first and ten, I have a jet option, and I hit that hole, and I'm almost gone, but he shoestrings me before I get loose. Going into the next play on third and six, as you can see, I'm not only a problem running that ball, but I'm a problem catching that ball out of that backfield as I catch a pretty big gain of 40 yards. Now I was fired up. Beginning down to that goal line on first and goal, as you can see, I bounce it outside and I try to get in, but I was short to the one. As you can see, I didn't want it enough, but going into the next play on first and ten, as you can see, I run a route and I dunk on this DB, and as you can see, I will go all the way, but this DB had the right angle on me to bring me down. Going into the next play on first and ten, as you can see, I run another route out of that backfield, and this time I try to hurdle up, but I almost broke my back. But on second and two, Derek Baduki Jr. will convert as he go on with a touchdown. Going into the next play on first and ten, he comes out and lead it. Boom! Oh my god! And gets that first down. And he was being very relentless, but on second and four, as you can see, he breaks a tackle, but this defense was rallying that ball, and they bring me down. But we're going to win the game, and as you can see, I end the game off a player of the game in 26 carries, 345 yards, and four total TDs. Going into our next game against 4-3 and three Arkansas, we had a counter to start it off with on second down, and I boomed him. I juke juke got outside, and I will go. Oh my god, I tried to bounce it back in. I got tackled, but on first and 10, as you can see, we had a stretch, but I bounced it back inside, and I am just moving and trying to get to that end zone early on this game. I am not playing. I got up like the man, but going into the next play on third and six, we had another stretch play, and as you can see, I'm bouncing it outside, and I will go for another first down. On second and six, as you can see, I had a jet option, and I bounced it outside, and it's only one man to beat him. Will I beat him? Yes, I will. I zigzag into him, but I still get shoestring tackled, and they bring me down, and I was frustrated. That wasn't enough. I wanted six, but going into the next play on second and ten, I run it right up the middle, and I'm just running through defenders all day. Going into the next play on second and as you can see, I hit that hole, and as you can see, I juke, I make a miss, and as you can see, I make another one miss, I make another one miss, and I get up that sideline, and they are not bringing me down. Going into the next play on third and inches, look at the change of the direction that Derek Baduki Jr. has. He will outrun everybody he is going all the way for six. Will be a problem in college football. But going into the next play on first and ten to put the icing on the cake. Derek Baduki Jr. is gone all the way for six. And I mean Alabama Crimson Todd has gotten a new running back in town. He is here. With that being said, the freshman Derek Baduki Jr. has broken the school rushing yard record. And we go on to win the game. And I end the game off with 25 carries, 326 yards, and two total TDs. Going to turn next game against number 14, Tennessee. I gave his defender the meanest stiff arm ever in my career. I mean, he flew so far. But they still tackled me for a tackle for loss. But on first and 10, as you can see, I hit that hole. And I mean, I boomed him. And I kept going for that first down and more. Going into the next play on first and 10, I run a sweep. And as you can see, I hit that hole. And I break one tackle. And I bounce it back outside. And I have one man to beat. And he would not catch Derek Baduki Jr. as I go in with the touchdown. I told him I want some more. But going into the next play on first and 10, I have a stretch play. And I run that ball outside. And I lower my shoulder. And I run him over. And I will run up that sideline, but I finally get brought down. Going into the next play, as you can see on third and one, as you can see, I hit that hole and juke, juke. Oh my God, I go in for six and I was fired up. And he totally made him miss, but do not put Derrick Paduki Jr. in bad situations. He will make nothing out of something as he will take this run all the way to the house. I mean, he is gone and he loves moments where he think he will be doubted. Going into the next play on first and 10, as you can see, I hit that hole and I break one tackle and I get back up that field, but then I get tackled. Going into this next play on second and five, the safety thought I was going to run through him how I usually do, but I outran him with the speed that Derek Paduki Jr. has, and I will take it all the way for six. So we're going to win the game, and as you can see, I end the game off with 25 carries, 421 yards, and four total TDs. I had a ball out game. Going into our next game against four and five LSU, I mean, we started off on second and one. I ran that ball for that first down. I break one tackle, and that team is coming. They are rallying that ball. It isn't going to stop Derek Paduki Jr. But as you can see, I run that ball and run right around the defender, and I try to run through him, but he still brings me down. We're going into the next play on second and five. As you can see, I catch that ball out of that backfield. I juke and get up that field, but they bring me down again. I almost got back up. But going into the next play on second and seven, as you can see, Derek Baduki Jr. route running is just amazing. I mean, he is losing these linebackers and cornerbacks. But going into the next play on first and ten, as you can see, I have an inside zone. I hit that hole. I break one tackle, but that defense is rallying that ball. And I mean, that's something that Derek Baduki Jr. has to do. I mean, we have not been down this season, and I almost almost break loose but my teammates get in my way going into the next play on 
second to 10. We have a counter play, and I hit that outside, and Derek Paduki Jr. is almost gone. And will he go? But he gets brought down. He will be the game changer of this game. But going into the next play on first and goal, as you can see, he punches the ball in for the touchdown. That wasn't enough. LSU still goes on to win the game. I end the game off with 24 carries, 164 yards, and one rushing TD. Going into our next game against number one nine in no Mississippi State. I mean, it started off a little shaky. I didn't even catch the ball that the quarterback threw to me. But on third and six, I get a run right up the middle. And I mean, I am striking early and I'm putting my head down and trying to truck everybody. Just after having a good run on second and 13, is D Lama shed it a block and hit me as soon as I got the ball. Seven, as you can see, I'm trying to make a game changing play. I hit that hole and almost bounce it outside and almost take it for six, but I get brought down. Going into the next play on second and third, as you can see, he was throwing the ball to my teammate, but I caught it for him and got boomed. And that was my fault for catching. Going into the next play on first and 10, as you can see, I'm going to make up for it and I'm going to catch that ball again. And I actually run through him, but he brings me down. Going into the next play on first and 10, I bump into my llama, but then I juke juke can get up that field with bad intentions and Derek Baduki Jr. will go all the way but this DB had the right angle on me they tackled me at the one going into the next play on second and five as you can see I try to break it up the field but they bring me down and I'm gonna stay relentless all night on second and six as you can see I hit that hole and I run right through him I flat ironed him we're going to win the game and I end the game off for 24 carries and 177 yards and zero rushing TDs Going into our next game against FCSEs, I mean, some bums. We started off intense early on. I told the quarterback to throw it up on fourth down, and I dunked on him, broke a tackle, and was going for yards. I turned up early on. As you can see, we draw down that field, and on first and goal, I had a stretch play, and I ran that ball away to the outside and took it in for six. Going into the next play on first and ten, I had a counter play, and as you can see, I run him over, and I am gone all the way. I break another tackle and break another tackle for six. I mean, Derek Baduki Jr. is running that ball hard all day on first and 10 as you can see he go gets another first down and he is staying religious but on second and seven he has an inside zone and he hits that hole for another first down going into the next play on first and 10 i run that ball straight up that middle i run him over run him over into the end zone i mean it's 21-0 before the halftime but as you can see on first and 10 i'm putting our icing on the cake early on and i am breaking and breaking and breaking for another touchdown going into the next play on first and 10 i catch that ball out of that back foot i juke make a miss and i get up that field with bad intentions for a 21 yard game. Going into the next play on third and five. As you can see, I catch the ball out of that backfield again and I tripped myself up and I was going to go for six. But to put the icing on the cake on second and one, as you can see, I juke juke into that end zone for six and we will go on to win the game. Going into our next game against A and three, number 14, Arbin. I mean, it started off intense. I started off with a counter play and ran through this DB on first down. To the next play on first and 10, as you can see, I juke back outside and oh my God, I made a miss and I will go for six. But going into the next play on second and one, as you can see, I had a jet option and I hit that left sideline and oh my god all I see is that end zone and I will go all the way for a six and I dive in the end zone and I was fired up with my teammates as you can see going into the next play on second and 15 I'm just searching for that first down every time I touch that ball into the next play on first and goal as you can see I zigzag and run a route and I go in with a touchdown and this is why I'm so special I could catch that ball out of the backfield again on first and 10 and I juke juke made a miss and break another tackle and I will go for six Going into the next play on third and one, as you can see, I had a stretch. I bounced it back right side, and as you can see, I was short for that first down. And as you can see, we're going to win the game, and I get player of the game with 34 carries, 294 yards, and two total TDs. Going into the conference championship game against 12 and no Georgia, this is the time to shock the world and show them who I am. So I start off early on first and 10 with a pretty big run. I got up and told them I wanted to contact all night, but going into the next play on second and eight, as you can see, this DB came down hard and tackled me for a loss. Going into the next play on third and 10, as you see, I catch the ball at the backfield. I juke, but I try to get up that field. But look how many Georgia Bulldog heads get to that ball. Going into the next play on first and 10, I break one tackle on the back foot. I juke, juke out of it, and I am almost gone, but a pretty big 19 yard game. And things are starting to pick up. But on first and 10, I get the ball again, and I bounce it back outside and go get another first down. But they bring me down. Going into our next play on third and 10, as you see, I bounce it outside. I juke, juke, he didn't go anywhere. I put my head down and trip forward, and I got some yards. Going into our next play on third and goal, as you can see, I bounce it all the way outside, and he pushes me into the end zone for the touchdown. Down. I told them boys, I want this too much. I want this too much. Going into the next play on fourth and six, big time players make big time plays when it's needed, and I go in and get the first down for my team. Going into the next play on second, said I have an inside zone, and I hit those holes, and I jump up, and he picks me up and drops me down on a one yard line. First and goal, as you can see, he punches that ball in. And I mean, this is just amazing, man. It's something that you've always prayed for. We have won the conference championship. Now we are going to that national championship to win. And I mean, those Georgia Bulldogs fought hard, but they didn't fight hard enough. With that being said, Derek Baduki Jr. has won 
won the Heisman his freshman year. He has also won the Robert Maxwell Award, and he has also won the Walter Camp Award, and he has won another award, the Doak Walker Award. Going to turn this game against 12-1, and one, number one, Ohio State. It started off a little intense, but that defense was rallying that ball, but I still got that first down to start the game off early. This right here is the National Championship, so I'm going out with a bang. I'm first and 10. I'm giving it all I got to get to that first down mark every time I touch the ball. Going to the next play on second and four, I have a power O play. I bounce it out outside, and as you can see, I break a tackle, and he stops me from progress. Going to the next play on 30 inches. I want it all. I run it right up the middle, and I didn't get in that end zone, so I say, hold on. Run that play back. I got to get in this end zone, so we know huddle it, and the quarterback gets on that ball, and you know who he's going to give it to. Derek Baduki Jr. goes in with the touchdown early. Look how elusive he is on second and 10 as he juke juke. He trips himself up, catches himself, breaks a tackle, and almost go. He run through him and made him look crazy. This is what makes him so special on second and third. He catches the ball at back for late. The boom on him, and he kept going, and as you can see, getting up that sideline, he breaks another tackle, and they finally bring him down. It's 21 to 21, and I need to make some shakes so on first and 10. You know I'm going to get that ball, and I get a first down every time I touch it, but they bring me down. As you can see, going into this next play, we need our kicker, and he delivers for us to take us up three. To put the icing on the cake, I have a stretch. I break one tackle, bounce it back inside, and make him miss and get in that end zone for a touchdown to end the game, and we are nationally champions. That is an amazing feeling, man, but as you can see, I end the game off with 27 carries, 257 yards, and three rushing TDs. As you can see, this is the end of Derek Baduki Jr., first year of college football. Being faced with the biggest decision of my life going into signing day, I have to sign to one of these schools, and I mean, I have a lot of Power 5 offers, and this choice right here is going to be hard, but after going over it with the fam, I've chose to commit to Coastal Carolina. And the reason why I committed here is because Coach said I would be a first string strong safety and this was my first scholarship offer. And coming in as a freshman, it is a blessing to be first string on that depth chart. Going into Larry Baduki, the second first practice. Started off intense. He threw the quarterback to the ground. He stayed relentless as he boomed the quarterback. Oh my God. And later into practice, as you can see, I was in a zone and I read this and I broke on it so well and I picked it and I will go all the way. Lil Reed Baduki the second is in college and he is here. He is showing them why he's not just a freshman. But they're going to run all over. Coach said great practice and you're in no danger of losing that starting position. Going into our first game against number 14 Texas. Didn't start off well. I had a punt and I dropped it and dived on it and I did not get it and they recovered it. That turned into them getting three points and putting points on that board. This was not a good start to my freshman debut but on first and ten as you can see I put him down as soon as he catched that ball. Now I'm going to intercept it next time but on second and as you see I punished him and missed angled the tackle on this quarterback and he went for a pretty big game. Going into the next play on first and ten. This wide receiver had me beat the man to man, but I came and boomed him because I had to get my get back. That did not stop Texas from putting three on that board. They scored again. And our offense can't get anything going, but on first and goal, as you can see, I stopped this running back before he got in that end zone. Going into the next play on first and ten, he throws it to the tight end, and I'm coming in to take out ACL, MCL. Oh, you better watch out, but going into the next play on first and ten, he catch the ball, and I put him down as soon as he catches. We're going to lose our first game, but I end the game off of five total tackles. Going into our next game against one and no Minnesota. Started off intense on first and ten. I put this wide receiver down as soon as he got the ball. Going into the next play on second and nine, I was in a cover three zone but i was just not in the right position to intercept it. going into that next play on 30 inches i got disrespected and he stiff on me and i just felt like a fool this is the second game that i'm off to a slow start and as you can see i was not in my zone and he went for six not just once but i got caught lacking again out of my zone and they went for another one and i have to do better but on third and two as you can see i shared the block and lay that boom on him and i have to get back in the groove but on second and four i stopped this quarterback before he got the first down we're going to lose again and i end the game off with five total tackles and one set on the turn this game against oh and one utep started off in i laid a big head on him early Young. Lil Reed Baduka the second said he wanted to change and he's going to get changed, but he dropped the intercept. Going to the next play on first and 10, they have outside zone. I lay that boom on him. Went to the next play on first and 10, he ran the weakest route and I ran it for him and I will intercept that ball and Lil Reed Baduki the second will go all the way for six. But going to the next play on second and six, I went all the way across the field and lay a big tackle on him. Going to the next play on third and 12, I come down and boom him. Oh my God. And we go on to win the game and as you can see, I end the game off of four total tackles and one interception. Going to our next game again, Against one and one UCLA. As you can see, I came out and laid a big hit on this dude early. We're going into the next play on first and ten. I went all the way across the field, but he got the first down, but I still brought him down. I'm going into the next play on first and ten. I read this route and almost had a pick six, but I dropped the ball. Then relentless and going into the next play on second and ten. I rap and roll this running back. We're going into the next play on third and thirteen. I made sure to stuff him down. We're going into the next play, quarterback rolls out of that pocket and I laid him down. And this quarterback just keeps rolling out of his pocket. 
and I'm hitting him every time. We're going into the next play on first and 10. This quarterback rolled out again, and I made sure to make him do a flip this time. We're going to win the game, and I had the game off for seven total tackles. Going into our next game against one and two San Diego State. Start off intense on first and 10. He cannot catch that ball with Lil Reed Baduki the second on him. They drove down that field and capitalized and put three up. And that was too quick. So on first and 10, I laid dead boom on him. I have to show him I'm here. We're going into the next play. I had a cover three zone, and I had this strapped up, but I just did not intercept the ball. We're going into the next play on first and 10. I undercut this route and almost had an interception, but I tackled. But San Diego State is not playing. They're putting three on that board every time they drive down that field. Going into the next play on first and 10. He absolutely broke my tackle and got up that field. But my teammates rallied that ball. Going into the next play on first and 10. I got stuck inside, but I will get back out and make a tackle on him. And I was fired up. We're going into the next play on third and 10. As soon as he catch that ball, I sling him to that ground. You can see we go on to win the game. And I end the game off with five total tackles. Going into our next game against 3 1 New Mexico. Start off intense. I mean, I had a bliss and I hit the quarterback, but he still completed the pass for a first down. As you can see on second and 13, I was in a cover three zone and I undercut this route and almost had an interception. I'm going to get one. But going into the next play on third or four, I baited him up and almost had an interception, but I dropped the ball. Nose right there, always stingy. But going into the next play on third and two, as you can see, he breaks the tackle, but I go in and lay on him. Going into the next play on first and 10, Lil Reed Baduki, the second is always going to be a game changer as he go and strip the ball left from that quarterback, but they recover. See, we're going to win the game and I end the game off with three total tackles and one forced fumble. Going into our next game against three and three, right? Started off intense. This quarterback rolled out of that pocket. I boomed him early on. We're going into the next play on first and 10. As you can see, this wide receiver caught the ball, but I put him down as soon as he got the first down. Now I'm coming for respect on first and 10. They have a sweep, but I boom him again. I rearranged his jaw and I came fired up with my teammates and I was not here to play. But on third and two, this quarterback didn't have enough. He gets boomed again. He just didn't get it. And being an athlete, a special teams All-American, Lil Reed Baduki the seconds hit that left sideline and he will go all the way, but he gets pushed out of bounds. You can see we're going to win the game. And I ended the game off with four total tackles, two tackles for loss, and one sack. Going to our next game against 4 and 4 Old to me. It wasn't a great start. As you can see on first and 10, he gets too much of a gain that he was not supposed to get, but I wrap and roll. Old to me came out the gate kicking three so they could get on that board early to tie the game up. Going into the next drive on 39. As you can see, it's wide receiver catch the ball, and I muscled him up and brought him down. As you can see, Old Dominion is driving down that field, and on first and 10, the wide receiver dunks on one of our DBs, and that's frustrating. But they scoring is now 10 to 17, and they have to score, but I boom him and him fumble that ball and big time players make big time plays in big time moments. Lil Reed Baduki the second is back and he is here to stay. See, we go on to win the game and I end the game off with four total tackles and one tackle for loss and one forced fumble. Going into our next game against five and two Louisiana. As you can see, we started off intense as I came down and boom, this running back. And I made him feel me early on, but on third and four, I made sure to hit him as soon as he caught that ball and brought him down with a horse collar. And Lil Reed Baduki the second is a dirty player, but going into the next play on first and ten, I boom him again. It's a pretty big hit, but going to the next play on second and eight, I boom him again. I was not playing all game. But going into that next play on first and ten, as you can see, I had him strapped up. The quarterback had nowhere to throw the ball. Now I stayed relentless throughout the whole game. And on second and 14, I got caught lacking in my zone. He caught the ball, but I brought him down for a tackle. But going into the next play on second and nine, I absolutely shared the block and made this running back do a backflip. These hits are critical. On first and ten, I'm laying out headaches all night. But on second and nine, I Boom, the quarterback. That one hurt him. But on first and 10, as you can see, I had an interception, but I dropped the ball. As you can see, we're going to win the game, and I end the game off with eight total tackles and three tackles for loss. Going to our next game against 7-1 Boston College. As you can see, it started off slow. I got pushed inside, and the running back got outside. We're going into the next play on first and 10. As you can see, I hit him, and I stripped that ball out and made a fumble, but they recovered the ball. But Boston College came out with three, and it is now 3-0. to zero. Going into the next play, I will be a special teams All-American. As I juke, juke inside, juke back outside, and as you can see, I will outrun him and I will go all the way, but he will push me out of bounds. But going into the next play on first and 10, I almost had an interception. I cut back and made a tackle. And I'm here. But going into the next play, as you can see, they kick three and go up again. But on first and 10, I got embarrassed. He stiff-armed me and made me fall. But as you can see, Boston College brings out that special teams and kick three again. But going into the next play on first and 10, I got as low as possible and made a big hit on the quarterback. And as you can see, I'm not letting this running back get anywhere. I wrap him and throw him to the ground. They nail the ball, and we go on to lose. And as you can see, I end the game with eight total tackles and one forced fumble. Going into our next game against six and four Florida. Atlantic start off intense. I start off with a big tackle for loss early. Going into the next play on second, and then as you can see, I will hawk him down. And as you can see, he got the first down. Going into the next play, as you can see, they kicked three to take them up 3 0 early. But this is the second week in a row. I've gotten stiff arm twice. I need to hit the weight room. But going into the next play on first and 10, I was in cover three zone. I absolutely obliterate this running back. And as you can see, I am a run stopper. On second and 10, he gets nowhere. But going into the next play, as you can see, on first and 10, he tries to escape and trips up, and I get him. But as you can see, Lil Reed Baduki, the second is a magnet to that ball, and he gets another tackle for. Going into the next play on second and ten. I boom. 
boom him. And as you can see, we go on to win the ball game, and we were not here to play, and I ended the game off with seven total tackles. On to our next game against eight and three App State. As you can see, he threw the ball, and I put him down as soon as he caught that ball. Going into the next play on first and ten, I turned around and laid the boom on him. Oh my god! I'm staying relentless all night, but on second and eleven, I almost had an interception, but I dove and missed it. See, we go on to win the game, and I ended the game off with three total tackles. I had a slow game. As a freshman, it's not too bad to pick up a Jim Thorpe award. Going into our next game against six and six Temple, started off slow. I was in the cover three zone, and this wide receiver burnt me, and I mean, he absolutely took it all the way down for a pretty big 50-yard game. We're going into the next play on second and seven. I went in and got a sack on the quarterback. On first and ten, I laid the boom on the running back. I wasn't here to play. As you can see, Temple brings out their special team, and they will go up three, and it is now six to zero. Going into the next play on first and ten, I set him down as soon as he caught the ball. Going into the next play on second and 17, he absolutely ran me over, but I brought him down. We're going into the next play on first and goal. As you can see, I absolutely run through him. We're going into the next play on third and goal. As you can see, he throws the ball to the tight end, and they will go in the score and as you can see, Temple will go on to win the bowl game. I end the game off with six total tackles in one sack. And as you can see, this is the end of Lil Reed Baduka, the second freshman year. And after facing the biggest decision of my life, I chose to commit to UCLA. It's always been a dream to go to LA and play football there. But there was one problem. Cam Baduka the third was not starting, so he has to come here and earn his respect. I wanted to my first practice as a second string quarterback for UCLA. Start off intense. The wide receiver catch a crazy catch. You know Cam Baduka the third is a problem when he rolls out of that pocket he threw a dot, but the wide receiver dropped the ball. That's not a good look for me to get coaches trust up. We have to be able to connect. But going into the next play, as you can see, I will put that ball on that ground. And I will lower that shoulder. And you can get up that field. Cam Baduki the third might be a freshman, but he isn't scared. As you can see, he rolls out of that pocket again. And his wide receiver put a block on his DB. And I went in for six. The coach told me to keep working, but I'm just not ready to challenge that next string just yet. Going into our first game against Nevada. Did not start off so well. I mean, being a second string quarterback, you just have to sit on the bench and watch the other quarterback do it thing but my time is coming when i get that chance there's no looking back i'm telling you when i'm coming i'm coming coaches finally called my number to come in to hold the ball for the kicker but that was really it i had no stats on the game going into our next practice and still being second string on that depth chart i have to come out here and impress coach some more so as you can see i put that ball on the ground and as you can see he tripped me up but i catch my step and i will go for some yards i mean i just don't know what cam baduki the third is missing he throws a dot on the money to the wide receiver he will take it for six with the last play left in practice i will tuck that ball and run it up the middle and make one miss and get a couple yards but i get boom after talking to coach he said you're ready to challenge that next string next week coaches gave me the chance to move up the depth chart and be quarterback number one and it did not start off well and cam baduki the third was being really patient and confident in that backfield as the offensive line was holding up so he dumps it off to the check down as it gets open and he will go all the way down and take it to the one yard line that took my respect up for coach a lot but rolling out of that pocket doing what he do best throwing that thing on the run he threw a dot coach said congratulations you are now number one on that depth chart going to our next game against 2-0 Nebraska. Started off intense. We had a read option on second and 10, and Cam Baduki, the third, will get to that next level, and he could go all the way, but he gets tackled. We're going into the next play on first and goal. Being 245, he tries to take it in, but he went down the wrong way, and he gets injured in the first quarter of his first start. Things just didn't start off his way, but as he returned in the second quarter with two minutes and 32 left and first and 10, as you can see, he delivers a dot to, uh, to Molly, and he will go all the way. He will break some tackles and get a pretty big game. That fire Cam Baduki the third up as he go in. He want to be Superman as he dives over and almost go in for six. He is going to get what's his, but on first and goal, as you can see, he goes in and take us up 14 to 10, and we're not playing. Yeah, as you can see on first and 10, he delivers a dot to the tight end for six. Getting out to the fourth quarter, we give it to Deshaun Murrow to run that clock out and to put the icing on the cake. We go on to win the game, and I get player of the game with two total TDs and 278 yards. I'm going to tell our next game against one and two Coastal Carolina. Start off intense on first and 10, as you can see, I complete a dot to Jake Bobo for a 26-yard reception. That got things started early on. On first and goal, Cam Baduki the third will take it in for six. No one wants to tackle him. Here, as you can see on second and one, his favorite target as he deliver a bomb to Jake Bobo. And as you can see, he breaks one tackle. He runs through him, and he will go all the way down for six. That absolutely fired me up. But on second and ten, I put my head down to get to that middle. And as you can see, I went juke juke. We even get up that field with bad intentions for a pretty big 24-yard rush. Here, as you can see on second and ten, Cam Baduki the third doing what he do best rolling out of that pocket with bad until he makes him miss and he will get up that field but he gets tackled at the three and he comes up short again but going into the next ball second and 13 we have a read option and nothing can tell you about this physicality that he has as he breaks all of these tackles but we will go on to win the game and i end the game off with two total tds and 167 yards it's our next game against one and three utah started off intense on fourth and six as you can see to go get that first down
down camp, but you get a boom, run him over for the first down. Here, as you can see on second and six, he completes a dot across the middle to Matt Sykes for a six. Going into the next one, first and ten, doing what he does best. Cam Badu get a third, rolling out of that pocket. I don't know where these DBs were, but the wide receiver was wide open and takes it for six. But on first and goal, this 245-pound quarterback, boom, for a touchdown. He is not here to play, but on first and ten, when things are getting serious, he goes and gets sad. Things are starting to go downhill. On first and ten, he rolls out of the pocket and thinks he found a wide receiver wide open, but he throws an interception to the opposite team, and he will try to return it, but our teammates will rally that ball and tackle him. I was in the strap, but Coach told me to pick my head back up and not go and juke juke in that end zone four six. And as you can see, we will go on and win the ball game. And I get player of the game with four total TDs and 270 yards. To our next game against three and two Cal. Started off intense on first and 10. As you can see, I completed the dot to our tight end DJ Justice. And he will run him over and go down for a pretty big game. Cam Baduki the third, get down to that goal line and run him over and go in for six. As you can see on first and 10, he somehow, some way rolls out of the pocket and makes a crazy pass to DJ Justice again. And he runs him over. Here, as you can see on second and 10, rolling out of that pocket again, doing what he does best. He throws a dot to mid out of Molly, and he drops the ball. We just cannot have those mistakes, but I connect with my favorite target, Jake Bobo, as he takes it all the way almost for six. We're good he didn't take it in, because you know who's going to take it in. Cam Baduki, the third, walks in for six. Coach said, hey, get back on that field and go get two. And I said, all right, Coach, I got you. Here, as you can see on first and 10, I roll out of that pocket, and it's getting down in that fourth quarter, and I try to force a pass, and it gets intercepted. And as you can see, he tries to return it. But I come down and try to lay a tackle on him. And I sure did trip him up. But I was just all in my head. And I just didn't know what to do. But I just snapped back into it. And on first and 10, as you can see, I roll out of the pocket again. And this time, I will put that ball on that ground. I was absolutely fired up. It's 21 to 24. And my dad had always taught me to never back down. So I completed a pass to Jake Bobo. Most will call a timeout with seven seconds left on that clock. But with six seconds left, I will run that ball in and win us the ball game and we were fired up but I get player of the game with three total TDs and 233 yards. Coming into our next game against three and three Stanford started off in 10 so second and 10 I was staying patient in that pocket but I will complete a pass to Logan Lawyer he completes a big one. That's a way to take the momentum early on but on second and 10 I will lower my head and lower that shoulder and get to that first down with bad intentions. On first and goal camp Baduka the third will run right up the middle for six. Here as you can see on first and 10 mid out of Molly runs it out in and gets wide open and takes it for a 28 yard receipt. Reception. That's all we needed for this 245 pound quarterback to run that ball as hard as he can and boom over him for a touchdown. Just when things were getting good on first and 10, he over jumps the route and he gets an interception and that was just not going our way at all. That took our momentum a tad bit, but it was 14-14 with eight seconds left on that clock. And as you can see, Cam Baduki the third will come clutch when needed and he throws a dot across the middle. And that would just put us in great field goal position. And as you can see, we will go on and win the game with a walk-off field goal and we were intense and fired up and I will end the game off with two total TDs and 305 yards. On the Tarnets game against 6-2 Oregon, Cam Baduki the third put that ball on the ground early on and on second and 10 he will roll out and as you can see he hits that sideline and goes down and boom oh my god. And he was just being a threat all night on the ground on fourth and eight as you can see he hits it and goes up for another first down and jukes but he gets brought down. Here, as you can see going into the next play on first and 10 he rolls out of that pocket and he wins will get up that field with bad intentions break another tackle and go for the first down here as you can see on first and goal he tucks that ball in 245 quarterback hurdles into the end zone going into this next one first and 10 this d Lama was keeping up with me as i rolled that pocket but i break the tackle and complete the pass the middle out of molly he made sure to put those feet down like tony toe tapper but on first and goal as you can see i hand the ball off to the running back he breaks the tackle and goes in for six but here as you can see to put the icing on the cake we end up the old-fashioned way and nail the ball and i get player of the game with one td and 213 yards going into our next game against three and four colorado did not start off intense on first and 10 i rolled out of the pocket and threw the ball all the way across the field and he almost intercepted this ball for a pick six i put it aside and kept my head up and on first and 10 i rolled out of that pocket and as you can see cam baduki the third has the db boom he runs him over and gets pushed out of bounds i just don't know what got into him but on third and 16 he was running that ball as hard as he could to get that first down and he runs him over again here as you can see on second and 18 this was just not a so good game for cam baduki the third he throws another interception this time to the linebacker he goes in and try to
to tackle him, but his teammate brings him down. My dad always taught me to keep my head up, so I give it off to the running back on the next drive, and we going for six. Push come to shove, I'm always going to fight back on third and ten. As you can see, I complete a dot to mid out of Molly for a 30-yard reception. But here, as you can see on third and two, I think Cam Baduki the third has found him a new favorite target as he completes a pass to mid out of Molly for six. But every time something goes good, something goes bad. On second and eight, I roll out of the pocket, and a linebacker throws me to the ground, and I mean, I just got back up, and I could not walk straight. I don't know what was going on with my leg. Still going to win the game. I end the game off of one total TD and 252 yards. Going to turn this game against 3-5 and five Arizona. Started off intense on 2nd and 11. I threw a deep pass to Cam Brown, and he was completely wide open, and he will go all the way and get pushed out of bounds. Here, as you can see on first and goal, I get a ball to Zach Chabonet for six, and he will take it in. Here, as you can see, I think I'm starting to have a problem. I'm forcing balls, and that's not supposed to be thrown, and I'm just throwing interception after interception after interception. Something has to change, but on first and goal, as you can see, I drive down the field again, and I said I want to go up like Superman, and I will go in for six. Here, as you can see on third and 15, I throw a dot to DJ Justice, and he goes in for six. Every time Arizona strikes, we're going to strike back with an inside zone to the running back. Going into the next ball second until we got a read option in camp. Baduki the third. Everyone's blocked up and he lowers that shoulder and tries to go in, but he gets tapped. These running backs that we have at UCLA is going to fight to get in that end zone for another one. If we want a Pac-12 conference championship, we have to fight for it. And over time, as you can see, Cam Baduki the third will go in for six. And that ties the game up. But on second and goal, I tried to run the ball and got hit the wrong way and I went down and we go on and lose our first game. As you can see, I ended the game off for three total TDs and 379 yards. Going to our next game against 5-4 and four Washington. Didn't start off so well. I mean, I rolled out of that pocket, but that DN was coming so hard. They rallied the ball and sacked me. Just don't know what to do. The O-line is not blocking, and they are rallying that ball as I go in and get sacked again. And this time, I will go down, and I think it's my ribs. I've just been hurt numerous times this season, but as you can see on second and 19, they are coming and sacked me for a safety this time. And I don't know what to do, but I had a enough on second and 10. I'm going to tuck that ball every time they come and get to that first down with bad intentions, but I step out. Here, as you can see on second and 12, the offensive line are holding up the blocks now, and I complete a pass to Jake Bobo, and as you can see, he breaks one tackle, make a miss, and keeps going. On fourth and six, when we needed to tie the game up, DJ Justice comes through. Every time we strike, they strike back. On second and seven, I complete a pass to DJ Justice, and he fights for a six, but he doesn't get it, but you know who's going to run that ball in camp, Baduki the third. Here, as you can see on third and 11, the wide receiver runs a deep Post and I deliver as a dot and we go on and win the ball game and I get player of the game with three total TDs and 309 yards. Going to our next game against six and four Arizona State started off intense on second and three as you can see Cam Baduki the third rolls out of that pocket and he has one man to beat and he will beat him and as you can see he gets up that sideline with bad juke oh my god he breaks another tackle and gets up the field. As you can see on third and goal he will tuck that ball and hurl up and oh my god here as you can see on first and ten he sit back in that pocket and completes a pass to Cam Brown and he takes it in for six. Going into the next play on first and ten, I find my tight end somewhere out there and he will take it for a pretty big game. Getting down to the goal line, I give it off to Zach Charbonnet for six. This time we run it up, but going into the next play on first and ten, I will throw a dot to mid out of Miley. He catches that ball and he will go for a pretty big game. Getting later in the game on fourth and nine when we need it, I find my other favorite target, Jake Bobo. He is starting to come back alive. He is getting it done, but also Cam Baduka the third is getting it done as he takes it in for six and we going to win the game and I get player of the game with four total TDs and 369 yards. Going to our next game against number three, 10 and one USC. We have to break him off and on second and 16, I complete a pass to Logan Lawyer, but he steps out of bounds. Just when we were marching down the field on first and 10, I threw a dot, but it got intercepted and I don't know what I was doing early on, but we were driving. After that interception, coach put me on the bench, but coming back in the fourth quarter, I throw a dot to Logan Lawyer again for six. And it was kind of too late to make a comeback, but as you can see, I forced this pass in there and threw another interception and I don't know what I was doing. As you can see, we going to lose a game and with losing this game right here, we have no chance of winning the conference title and I end the game off of one total TD and 109 yards. Cam Baduki the third falls up short of being the Heisman and he was third contender on the list. We're going into our bowl game against 7-5 TCU. Started off intense on first and 10 
and as you can see, Cam Badu get a third rolls out of the pocket and throws a dot to mid out of Miley. That gave us the momentum early on, but going into the next play on first and 10, Cam Badu get a third rolls out of the pocket and he keeps going and throws a crazy pass to Cam Brown, but he gets boom. He holds on to the ball, but I roll out of the pocket and throw it back across the shoulder to Jake Bobo, my favorite target, and he takes it in for six. Here, as you can see, coming back down the field on second and four, he throws a dot to Jake Bobo again, and he takes it in for another one. We are running the score up. I hand the ball off to Zach Charbonnet for another TD. This is just a statement game going out to the Pac-12, showing that we were supposed to be conference champions, but as you can see on second and 13, Jake Bobo catches a crazy one. We're going to win the game, and I end the game off with three total TDs and 402 yards. We are bowl champions, and this is the end of Cam Baduki, the third freshman season. After talking to Coach Jeff Brom, he said you could be the next thing coming through here, but the only problem was I was third string on that depth chart, and I had some work to do. So going into my first practice at the University of Louisville, I kind of got a chip on my shoulder. I mean, I'm third string, and I'm 5'8", coming in running back, so I have a disadvantage. But one thing my mom always told me is that I couldn't be stopping. Juke, juke, as you can see, I was getting up that field with bad intentions, breaking tackles. I'm that man. And I was talking trash in practice all day, telling them that I'm the best freshman. Juke, juke. Oh my God, he was begging for help, and I'm a freshman. He cannot stop me. But Coach told me that I was doing well, and that I could challenge the next string next week. On to our first game, and I'm the third string running back, so I had no chances of touching the field. But as you can see, I was watching the running back run that ball, and I have some competition that I have to compete with. And one thing that I've always done is never back down, so I want all the smoke. I'm ready for the next practice, but I ended the game off with no stats at all. Coach just gave me the chance to move up the depth chart to running back number two against the running back Jawar Jordan. And this is the moment that I've been waiting for. I mean, Coach is seeing my progress, so I have to go out there and keep competing every day. But going into the next play, as you can see, I have the outside zone, and I will get up that field with bad intent you, you get up that field but they will bring me down that right there won me that position number two on that depth chart going into our second game against fcs east i am still on the bench watching our offense drive down that field and as you can see they were absolutely driving but as soon as you know it coach called me in and on third and when i punched that ball in for my first career td but i still remained on that bench and it wasn't too much of a good feeling tyon evans i'm coming for your position but as you can see we go on and win the ball game and i ended the game off with one rushing td after going into our film session on Sunday, I had a great talk with Coach, and he said, I'm putting you up to the test to challenge the number one running back, Tyon Evans. And with that run right there, that's all Coach said he needed to see from me. I'm now the number one running back on that depth chart, and there is no letting back. This is what I've been waiting for. Boom! Oh my God, Larry Paduki is not playing. He is that man as a freshman. He will take it all the way for six. Coach said, congratulations, you are now the number one running back. I wanted to my first game as a starter against one-on-one -on -one Kentucky. Start off in 10, so on first and 10, I had a counter outside. And Lil Reba Duke in the fifth breaks the tackle and get up that field with bad intentions. Here, as you can see on second and three, Juke Juke, oh my God, right up the middle weave. And he would get up that field with bad intentions. He is not playing. And where he came from, there is no looking back. Boom, oh my God, he made sure to lay a big hit on him. As you can see, it's 16 to three, and I'm ready to run that score up. And on first and 10, I will outrun everybody because my speed is a 4 3, and I'm not here to play. Like I said, I'm a coast to coast player on first and 10. Oh my God, he shoot streaming. I was almost gone. Going into the play on fourth and seven, I told Coach to get me that ball. I will get you that first down. There's no reason to get that ball back to him. And look at the air for about a 5'8", 185. He will get in for six. And he was absolutely fired up. But we were going to end him the old-fashioned way and another ball. And as you can see, we're going to win the game. I the game off of 260 yards and two total TDs. Going to turn this game against one and two JMU. It's time to break the record. On first and 10, we have inside zone, but I bounce it back outside. And as you can see, I was almost gone, but he shoestrings me. Going into the next play on first and 10, we have the same play. I bounce it outside. That right sideline's my best friend. Juke, oh my God, I made a miss. He was crazy out there and i will go all the way for a td i told them boys hey 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 we are getting started and on second and two as you see i caught you oh my god i would get up that field break a tackle oh my god break another one i'm bad yeah, as you can see on first and 10 look at the burst of speed as i oh my god weave i get up that field with bad intentions and he could and he would go all the way for six but doing what i'm doing special and doing the things that got me recruited on first and 10 catching that ball out of that backfield i will go all the way for six i went over to coach and i I said, feed me on fourth and 10. He threw in a ball, and I'm going to convert every time for your coach. And on first and goal, they give me that ball, and I will punch it in for a six, and I was fired up. Here, as you can see, we're going to win the ball game. I get player of the game with 219 yards.
yards and three total TDs. Coming to our next game against two and two Temple, I almost brought the house down. First and ten, oh my weave, I was getting out of that way, breaking tackles, I almost break loose, but they would tackle me. I told coach every time I touch that ball, I'm taking it for five or ten. I don't care, it might be a TD, but I get shoestring tackle. But going into the next play, as you can see, we have a halfback draw. Get up that field, Chill. Oh my god, he made a miss, and I get shoestring again. Getting down to that goal line, you know, Lil Reed Baduka the fifth gonna punch it in, but getting down to that goal line again the next drive, I will punch it in again. But here, as you can see, it's 31 to 17. We're going to nail the ball to end them the old fashioned way. We will go on to win the ball game. I get player of the game with 225 yards and two total TDs. Going to our next game against two and three Rutgers. Started off intense on second and six. Low Reed Baduki, that right side line is his best friend, and he will hit it with bad intentions, and he could and he would go all the way for six to start the game off. Here, as you can see, we drive down again, and oh my god, a strike a burst to hit the hole for another TD. But going into the next play on second and eight, I will hit that middle and break tackles, but I get tackled at the first. Going into the next play on first and 10, as you can see, I was weaving and zigzagging and getting up that field with bad intentions for another one. But on second and 10, I boomed him. Oh my God, this might be the best run in history on second and 10. I could get up that sideline with bad intentions and I could go all the way, but he will hog me down and shoestring tackle me. But I said I might not have got y'all that time, but on first and 10, I will hit that right sideline again. And this time, I promise you, you will not catch me. I will go all the way to distance four six and i was absolutely turned up we're going into the next one second and seven with the speed i have i hit the outside every time and that's your worst enemy but i will break back inside and they will tackle me but going into the next one first and ten i will hit that hole and bounce it back outside little reba dookie the fifth could outrun everybody and go in with another huge touchdown for the team it's 41 to 7 we're completely embarrassing him but look how he sneaks through that little hole and he can burst with a speed little reba dookie the fifth could go all the way for six again oh my god he's trying to break all of the records to put the icing on the cake for Rutgers on second and nine I will hit that hole and bounce it back outside you are too slow for me and you cannot keep up with me and I will go all the way for six and as you can see we are turned up and we go on to win the ball game and as you can see I get player of the game with 519 yards and seven total TDs on to our next game against four and one UCF started off in tits I will hit that middle and as you can see I will make him miss and hit it right back up the middle and I will go coast to coast Lil Reba Dookie the fifth to start the game off is in 10. I made sure to slam that ball down. I said, shh, this is my house. But going into the next one, first and 10, I will hit that hole. And oh my God, I got shoe string. We get down to that goal line and I get a sweet play and I will walk into the end zone for six. We're going into the next one, first and 10. I'm running out of that backfield. I will catch that ball. Chook, oh my God, I made a miss break, another tackle. And I will bounce it back out and I could go to Denson and I would go all the way for six. I am not here to play. And I told coach before I signed those papers that when I come here, I will be the best freshman in NCAA history and I was not playing I will go all the way for six here as you can see on first and ten I will he didn't want to hit me he didn't want to hit me I will hit it up that middle and bounce it back outside and at this point I was playing with him I almost ran into my blocker but I'm so fast I outrun him and kept going for another TD here as you can see we will go on and win the ball game I get player of the game with 332 yards and four total TDs on to our next game against two and four South Florida started off intense we drove down the field early and we had a read option he pitched it to me and I dived in for six going into the next one on second and I hit it right up the middle for a first down and I was not playing but on second and four I have an outside zone and you know me I'm not gonna play with ya I will boom him and get through it with bad intentions on first and ten I will creep up that sideline boom got to Marty he was on his back but we're going to win the ball game I end the game off of one total TD going to our next game against three and four Charlotte started off intense on third and two as you can see I bounced it outside but then I will bounce it back upside and I will break one tackle and they will bring me down but going to the next one on first and ten I will hit that hole. I almost said goodbye, but he shoestring me. Going into the next one on second and six, I hit the middle and bounce it back outside, and somehow, some way, he almost found a way to get in that box, but he didn't. But love Reed Baduki the fifth was fighting all night. As you can see, he was breaking those tackles and getting up that field with bad intentions. I'm going into the next one on first and go, I will run around at the backfield, do what I do special, and going for six. But going into the next one on first and ten, I will bounce it outside. Choo -choo got stumbled him for a little second, and I will outrun him because I'm that man. But I finally get pushed out of bounds. Here, as you can see on second and three, Lil Reed Duke of the fifth was still trying to find a way to break away, and he almost broke again. But they will bring him down for a tackle. But we will go in to win the ball game. I get player of the game with 264 yards and one total TD. On to our next game against six and three Houston. We're coming out intense like we have every other game. And on first and ten, I will bounce it outside. And you know I'm dangerous when I get outside, but they will finally bring me down. On to the next ball, second and fifteen, I will hit that middle. And as you can see, I break a tackle and still go get.
get that first down. But on second and four, as you can see, I bounce it outside, break one tackle, and the perk of being 5'8 is high behind those blocking. Somehow, some way, I will burst out and almost go, but I get hit. But to the next one, first and 10, I bounce it outside, and I finally found what I was looking for that edge. And I could and I would go all the way for six. But here, as you can see, on second and five, I hit it right up that middle and go in for another TD. And as you can see, I break the Russian TD record, and I was fired up with my teammates. Ooh, we're going to win the ball game. I get player of the game with 267 yards and three total TDs. On to our next game against four and five Memphis. I'm not going to lie. On first and 10, I don't think they want to be out there on the field with us. I was out running everybody, and I would hit that right sideline and stiff arm throw him off of me. I'm not playing early. But I run so fast downhill, and on second and 11, as soon as I got the ball, I strike like a lightning bolt, and I'm in the end zone for six. And every time I touch that ball, it's either for 10 or a TD, and on first and 10, I take it all the way for another one. And on first and 10, I will catch that ball out of that backfield. Joke. I will get back up that field with bad intentions, hit that right sideline, and no one is catching Lil Bree, but do get a fifth. Going into the next one on second and three, I was greedy for another one, but I got hit pretty good right here. But there, as you can see, we will go on and win the ball game. I end the game off of 234 yards and two rushing TDs. Going into our next game against number seven seed, 10 and one Cincinnati. Didn't start off so well on first and 10. He hit me behind that line of scrimmage, and it's the first time Lil Bree, but the fifth was getting shut down. But I said, not so early, bucko. On third and one, I hit that inside zone and I could hit the middle four six. We're going into the next one, first and ten. I catch that ball in the backfield and juke juke. Somebody pick his ankles up off of that floor because they are sinking. But going into the next one, first and goal, I catch the ball in the backfield again and going for six. On first and ten, as soon as I got the ball, he hit me and I did not like that at all. But going into the next one, first and ten, I seen a big hole and I will hit that big hole and I will make him miss, but then I got tackled. Going into the next one, second and four, I will hit right up that middle, try to hop behind some blocks and get some more yards, but then I get tackled. But going into the next one, first and goal, I have an outside zone, and I'm not scared to go up and hurdle up, and somehow, some way, I got in for six. Going into the next one, second and one, I have behind my blocks and almost break away again, but one man tackled me, but we will go on and win the ball game. I get player of the game with 245 yards and two total TD. It is always a dream come true to come your freshman year and go win a championship. We won the American Championship, and it's a dream come true to be a freshman and get Heisman. Lil Reba Duke the fifth. Here, as you can see, I will pick up the Robert Maxwell Award, and I will also pick up the Walter Camp Award, and I will also pick up the Doke Walker Award. But now it's time for the playoffs, and we go against Tennessee. Oh, we are finally facing competition. Going against the number four seed, 12 and 1 Tennessee. It is time to knock them off in the playoffs. It's when to go home in first and 10. Little Reba Duke the fifth act like he has been here before. Going into the next one, first and goal. I try to go in and hurl up for six, but they will shut us down to no scoring. But on first and 10, I come back down and they are not playing. They are rallying to that ball. Going into the next one, on second and seven, I will hit that hole bounce outside, and you know me, I will hit that left sideline, and these SEC boys cannot hang with Lil Reba Dookie the fifth. I don't care who you are. Here, as you can see, it is 20 to 10, and I want to run that score up as much as I can, because I want to go to that natty. And as you can see, I dive in for six, but going into the next one, first and 10, I bounce it outside again, and I will lightning bolt all the way up the field, but I get shoestring. But we get down to that goal line on second and goal, Lil Reba Dookie said he wants to run that score up by any means, but as you can see, we will send Tennessee home. We are going to that natty. And I in the game off for 365 yards and three total TDs. And as you can see, we have the big Allah. Bam! Going into the national championship game against 11 and 2, number 2 seed Alabama. Start off in tits. I dive into the end zone to start the game off. But going into the next point, fourth and six, we had some nerve to go for it. And I told coach I wasn't playing. Give me that ball, and I'm going to get you that first down and more. Four, six, and I'm not playing. Here, as you can see on first and 10, I will catch that ball out of the backfield. Juke, juke, and weaving again back up that field with bad intentions, but they will push me out of bounds. But going into the next point, on second and four, I will bounce it back across the field, break a tackle, and I will make sure that I could get enough for that first down. Going into the next one, third and one. Boom, I get set down. And I did not like that at all. But we go on to nail the ball to end those boys the old-fashioned way. And we are national champions. Here, as you can see, I in the game off of 264 yards and two total TDs. And it is amazing to be a freshman on your first year to come and be a national champion. Being the hardest decision of my life, I didn't know where to commit to. But after going over it with the family, I finally came to the conclusion of where I want to commit to. And there's no way I could skip over the university of my 
Miami. Coach has gave me a full ride scholarship. He also has gave me my number 52, and I'm number one on that depth chart. So there's no way I could let him down. After receiving a 1.5 million NIL deal from Coach Mario Cristobal, I cannot let him down. I told, boom, I told them boys they better come to practice all day. And as you can see, boom, I was intense all night. Coach has told me to keep it up. You are in no danger of losing that starting position. Going into our home opener game against Florida Atlantic. Start off intense on first and 10. He tried to tuck the ball and run it, but I made sure to put him down. And this is my first collegiate game, so I'm getting all of the jitter outs, but I was starting off intense. I was actually making a lot of tackles early on. Going into the next play on first and 10, he dumps it off to his check down, and I come over and boom, oh my God, good Tato Madi. I was making sure to knock those buckles loose all night, but on second and three, I dive at his legs and made sure to make that tackle. And on second and six, they had a read, a boom, oh my God. I mean, this freshman is nothing to play with on first and 10, right? But the fourth, oh my God, he's laying that hit all night. Going into the next one on second and 14, they had a read option. I made sure they wanted no parts of me. He got nowhere, and that was a tackle for law. And this is the way to get your name out, to come out that first game and show the college world who you are. You come down and boom, all night. Here, as you can see, it's 14 to zero, and if we want to keep that donut, you know who's going to intercept that ball right. But Duke get a fourth, but he doesn't go anywhere. He gets hit in that end zone, but we were absolutely fired up. They had one more chance to throw that ball up just to get seven, and I dropped the ball, but we will go on to win the game, and I get player of the game with 10 total tackles, four tackles for loss, one assisted tackle, and one interception. On the tight next game against one and no Florida Gators, as you can see on first and 10, I came down and boom, that knocked his buckles loose. I'm gonna lie, early on, they were running that ball and getting down that field with bad intentions. But no one ever said it would be easy on second and go. They try to run that ball, but I made sure to wrap and roll them. And I told you nothing was gonna be easy, so they go ahead and put three on that board. Going into the next play on first and goal, they drive back down and got a read. I said, boom, Gagato Marty, I'm not playing. I am here, and I am here to stay. And they called me the Little Ray Lewis because I hit so hard, but on second and goal, I made sure to hit this quarterback before he gets in that end zone. On third and goal, I creep up and do and I'm making sure every play that they feel right, but do get a fourth and a fourth and go. We will get off that field and we not playing. We're going into the next play on third and 12. As you can see, I almost have an interception, but I dropped the ball and we will go on and win the ball game. My name game off of seven total tackles and three tackles for loss. We're going into our next game against FCS SCS, another rainy game, and it did not start off well. As you can see, they were driving down the field. And on fourth and five, they bring out their special teams crew to go 3 0 early on. And I took offense to that. I said, I'm not letting no sorry team come out here and do that to me. But as you can see, I get an interception. I said, I'm going to make change for us and it wasn't just one on third and 13 i said give me that i want another one and this time it might just go for six but i get shoestring i think them boys forgot who ray baduka the fourth was on third and four i said hold on i want another one and this time i will get brought down and i want to do anything i can to make change for my team and on first and 10 i grab another interception and he could and he would go all the way for six and i was not playing i told my team that's how you take the momentum early and it's only the third game and I have broken the school interception record already. But as you can see, we go on and win the ball game. I get player of the game with two total tackles and four interceptions. Going into our next game against one and two South Florida on third and three. It started off intense. I came down and boomed him on that slant route. I said, you would not catch that ball in front of me. On second and four, I made sure to come down and knock this quarterback buckles loose. And I said, it's a one-on-one. -on -one, you and me. Boom, I'm going to win. Here, as you can see, it looks like the quarterback crossed the line of scrimmage. But on first and 10, he still completes a pass all the way down the field. Coach said it was donuts on him if we kept a no-scoring game. As you can see, I said, I got you, coach. I intercept that ball and I will outrun that lineman. And I could and I would go all the way for six. And I threw that you up and said, let's go. But on second and 16, they have a read option. I made sure to hit his ankles and wrap and roll. But South Florida finally drives down the field and puts three points on the board. But as you can see on second and five, I come down and lay that boom. But as you can see, we're going to win the game. And I get player of the game with six total tackles and one interception. Going to turn this game against two and two Georgia Tech. They didn't start off so well. I mean, he got too much of a game for me, but I still brought him down for the tackle. Here, as you can see on second and five, he run that ball. And he was trying to stiff arm my teammates. So I came over to help him out and tackle him. I don't know what's going on with Ray Baduca before, but he literally ran right past the running back and let them go in for six. Going into the next play, he's finally starting to get things together. The quarterback runs out of that pocket and he booms him. Oh my God. Not just once, but on first and 10, he comes down. Uh, 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 boom. He made sure to hit him in that chest and on first and 10, he welcomed him to college. Oh my God. He told him to sit down. He, as you can see on fourth and 11, I made sure to hit him behind a lot of scrimmage and I got up with my teammates and I said, let's go. As you can see, we going to win the ball game. I end the game off of six total tackles, two tackles for loss and one sack. Going into our next game against four and one North Carolina. Did not start off intense on first and 10 he gave me the stiff arm and i fell straight to the ground and in my life i've never been disrespected like that and on second and 10 they have a screen and i made sure to shut it down before it got started here as you can see on 
on third and one. He dumps it off to the wide receiver, and I'm coming over and make sure to hit him in his chest. I'm going to make this team respect me. On first and ten, he dumps it off to the wide receiver again. I boom him. I'm not playing. They done made me mad. I get angry. I get angry. On second and five, boom, I got too muddy. As you can see on third and nine, staying in my zone, Drake May almost throws me an interception, but I drop the ball. But here, as you can see on second and 13, look at my break. As soon as he caught that ball, I made sure to knock him back. But as you can see, we're going to win the game. I end the game off with seven total tackles and two tackles for loss. Going to turn this game against number 24, five and two Wake Forest. They tried to get up that field early on. On second 11, they had a dump off and he went up for an eight yard reception. Ray Baduka the fourth came in on that next play and made sure to knock this quarterback loose. Here, as you can see on first and goal, Wake Forest will strike first as they go in for six. We're going to the next play on third and seven, he dumps it off to the running back and I boom him, I made sure to shorten his neck. But we just didn't give it enough. They're going to end us the old fashioned way and they will go on to give us our first loss. But I ended the game off with four total tackles. Not a so good game. I'm going to turn this game against six and one Florida State. Started off intense on third and 12. As you can see, I wanted to get off that field. They had screaming. I boom this running back. I said, let's go. Coach always talking about setting that momentum. So I said, I'm going to come out intense every game and rap and roll. But going into the next play on second and eight, they have a read option. I made sure to take ACL MCL out on this quarterback. Coach has always told me to maintain my gap and I sure would as I knock them backwards and I told them they would not gain a yard coming through my gap and as you can see I will shut it down every play I'm telling you, that's one special thing about me I'm filling those gaps and I'm laying that boom all night here as you can see on second and ten I almost have an interception but I hit him down instead and that interception will come but on third and ten the very next play as you can see I almost have another interception they keep trying Ray Paducah to four going into the next play as you can see soon as this wide receiver catches that ball I drop him down but as you can see we're going to win the game I end the game off of eight total tackles and one tackle for loss going to turn this game against five and four Virginia Tech start off in 10. So second and 10, I came down and boom, this running back. I was not playing, but going into the next play on first and 10, I made sure to come in and dive at his ankles to get the tackle. I was giving out headaches all night on second and six. I boom him again. Oh my God, I am not playing. And on first and goal, this quarterback will bounce it outside and go in for six. Here, as you can see on third and 10, I made sure to wind up and get a boom angle and I was not playing, but on second and 10, they have a read option and I come down and get the tackle on the running back. But I mean, we just could not hold on to this running back. He got to that outside and there was no catch of him. He went in for a TD. Yeah, as you can see, it's 14 to 13. We're down by one point. We need that ball back and Ray Paducah the fourth gets an interception and I was absolutely fired up. After we went down and got a field goal, they come back down with seven seconds and kick a field goal to go on and win the game. And as you can see, we go on and lose the ball game. And I end the game off with six total tackles, one tackle for loss and one interception. I want to turn this game against six and three, Duke. Started off intense. On second and four, I came down and made sure to hit the hole, but he got the first down. Even though they're getting yardage, I'm going to make sure and come down and boom them to make sure that they feel what they have worked for and I don't care how many yards you get you're gonna feel me going into the next one on first and 10 I got caught lacking in my zone and he threw the ball and as you can see he breaks the tackle and I made sure to tackle but I mean this is not my game right here I'm not having a so good of a game but on second and 14 I made sure to lay the tackle but we're going to win the ball game and I end the game off of four total tackles not a so good game going into our next game against four and six Virginia start off intense on first and 10 I came down and laid that boom good guy told Marty he felt me but to the next one on first and 10 I made sure to hit him as soon as he catch the ball so he can have any yak yards but on second and eight I come around and as you can see I died for a sack and I was fired up that was my first sack of the season and that absolutely fired me up but going into the next play I was in man to man but this wide receiver is kind of tall so I took him down and chopped his legs out but going into the next play it is four seconds on that clock and the quarterback's gonna throw it up to see what he gets and they actually get a touchdown out of it but it wasn't enough we still go on to win the game and as you can see I end the game off with four total tackles one tackle for loss and one sack on the turn next game against number seven ten and one pit started off in tens on first and ten I made sure to meet this running back outside and lay him down but going into the next play on first and goal they drove down the field and the wide receiver was wide open for a touchdown and i mean Pitt wasn't playing every time they touched the ball they were putting points on the board they put three up big time players made big time plays in big time moments i laid it boom and made the running back fumble and caused the turnover and my teammate will pick that ball up and as you can see i got up fired up and told them boys i want some more but going into the next play on first and ten i made sure to hit that running back behind line of scrimmage for a tackle for loss and we're going to win the game i in the game off of four total tackles one tackle for loss and one forced fumble to the acc conference championship against number 23 nine and three florida state start off in 10 almost had a pick six i deflect that ball early going into the next one on first and 10 as you can see he dumps it off to the running back and i made sure to hit him but he still got a pretty big game but going into the next one on second and nine i was sitting in my zone and absolutely obliterated the quarterback i'm not gonna lie to you i was giving this quarterback a long night on second and three i made sure to wrap and roll him but
But going into the next play on third and three, he had a read option, and I made sure to wrap and roll him again. They just cannot hang with us. It was 31-8 to eight in the fourth quarter, and I made sure to lay a big hit on that quarterback. And as you can see, we are ACC Conference champions, and this is a dream come true to be a freshman to go to a conference championship early on. And I ended the game off with eight total tackles, but as you can see, I was not a runner-up for the Heisman, and I'm just confused, but I have to remember that I didn't do so good at the end of my season. I also picked up a Chuck Benarchy Award, and as you can see, I picked up the Dip Buckets Award. After being ranked number seven and not getting put in the playoffs, we still have a bowl game to play, and it's against number eight, Utah, and we started off intense by making a tackle early. And they were not playing. They drove down the field to tie the game up three to three early on, but going into the next play on second and ten, I was sitting in my zone. They have a screenplay, but I made sure to come down lay that boom. And even though that we're not going for that national championship ring, we're going to get a bowl ring, and I'm going to lay that boom all night, but as you can see on second and ten, going into the next play, I come down and boom! Oh my god, I'm giving out headaches. Going into the next play on third and ten, they are driving down that field, and I missed it in my zone, and I still made the tackle on them though, but on fourth and go, as you can see, to get them boys off the field right, but do get a four, make some fumble, and we turn over downs, and we are bowl champs. And this is an amazing experience for Ray Baduki the fourth, as being a freshman and getting to do the things that he's done, but here is his final stats of his freshman season. He did the Kansas, and he is gonna have some haters. And the reason why he has committed here is because he's gonna be a day one starter with an NIL deal. Who could beat that? Going into my first college football practice, I had the jitters, but as you can see, I caught the ball early on to get him out. It's all that day Quantavius Baduki the six needed. As you can see, he goes up high and he catches that ball with bad intentions. And as you can see, he runs that ball break tackle. Hold on, he's not down. He gets back up. Hold on, he catches his balance and gets to that outside and almost breaks loose. When I say coach was going crazy over that, coach was going crazy. I went deep again, burning these DBs with another TB. They can't hold me. And coach said, Good job practicing. You are in no danger of losing that starting position. Went into our first game against one and five FCS Midwest. As you can see, I go on his head top early, put those feet down, get back up, and then get tackled and boom get on that ground i'm not playing i'm being physical coming out my first game daquan tavis baduki the six will set that tone for kansas early on and on first and 10 he goes in with another td he is not playing and on third and nine i go deep and as you can see he will outrun everybody with that speed he has he might be seven foot but he's flashing like a lightning bolt out there here as you can see going into the next one first and 10 you might as well call my favorite route that fly route because every time i do it they cannot catch me and they can't seem to guard it but I will go all the way for six, but going into the next one, second and 13, I got another flop route, and these DBs are just cannot stick me. I mean, I might need to transfer to the SEC, because this Big 12 is not it. I mean, that was an 85-yard reception for Daquan Tavis Baduki to six, and as you can see, we going to win the ball game. I get player of the game with eight receptions, 364 yards, and five total TDs. Going into our next game against one and no rice, you know I had to come out here and start it off intense. These DBs just did not guard me. I don't know if they were in a cover three, cover one whatever they was in it didn't stop me but on first and 10 i go deep again and as you can see he is getting toasted all day and i'm not playing i'm going into the next one first and 10 they go on tavis baduki the six is gaining a crowd at kansas oh my god he dives in because he's superman I'm going into the next one on third and 13 i got him beat again and he took me down low i need to be careful and stay a little lower because i could get hurt like that but on first and 10 i tried to dunk on him but this db wasn't going i said you can't stop daquan tavis baduki the six boom get out of my way for six but going into the next play as you can see i have a post route and i go in with another td and i was absolutely turned up boom get on that ground. We were going to win the ball game. I get player of the game with eight receptions, 309 yards, and five total TDs. Going to our next game against one and two LA Tech. I mean, their DBs was playing close on me, but I finally get separation. Get the first down and a couple more yards. But going into the next play on first and 10, I get an outside release. Catch that ball, but I get hit and I will fumble the ball and they will pick it up and I've made my first turnover in college football. And I'm explaining it to the quarterback. I'm like, man, what is going on? That, that, that That's on me. I said, man, I will get that fixed up and on first and 10, throw me that ball, but it gets in intercepted things are not going our way at all i went up to him after the play i said we got two options either drop our head or pick it up and pick this game up and pick the intensity up and i will take it all the way on third and 11 because i said i'm not playing and on first and go i will catch another one for another td because i'm turned up now daquan tavis baduka the six might just be the next thing in college as you can see he dunks on him and dives in the end zone because he is just too comfortable out there and as you can see he burns him again but he steps out of bounds i went up to Jalen daniels and i say throw that ball 
ball up again because this DB is asleep. I catch it and step out again. That could have been six. But going into the next one, second and 10, as you can see, I said throw it up again and I will dunk on him, stiff arm him, almost gets him off of me, but he almost breaks my arm. That was a crazy game. We will go on and win the ball game. I get played again with nine receptions, 292 yards, and three total TDs. Going into our next game against three and one Texas Tech on first and 10. As you can see, I catch a great ball for a 25 yard reception, but on first and 10, going into the next play, as you can see, I catch the ball. Tony Toe Tapper, oh my God. I mean, when Daquan Tavis Baduki to sit get separation, I mean, you could just say bye bye. He's going all the way for six. Here, as you can see on second and four on that goal line, I use my size to my advantage, go up and catch it with one hand, and I will go on to break the score receiving TD record already. But going into the next one on third and 15, I have him burnt, and I think I belong in the SEC. And I mean, no disrespect, but growing up from Texas, that's some of the greatest football. But going into the next one on second and seven, I burnt him. Oh my God, left him at the line. Choo choo, get up that field and almost break another tackle, but I get brought down. I mean, it's 35 0, and I wanted to rip their heart apart some more. And on second and three, I dive in that end zone with another TD, and I told my teammate, it's too easy out here. But we're going to win another game. I end the game off with nine reception, 310 yards, and five total TDs. Going to our next game against four and one TCU started off very intense. As you can see, I run a fly ride, and I will put it on his tail top, get off of me, and I will go all the way in for six. And I started off very intense. We're going to the next play i burn him again and oh my god i tried to escape but he will bring me down very low but going into the next play on third and one i was testing him all game but he shoestring tackled me and at the rate that i'm going i would be a top five prospect in the nfl draft and i will only play three years of college being realistic at the rate that i'm playing if i keep playing like this and daquan tavius baduki the six is only gonna evolve throughout his college years and things are gonna get better but we're going to win the ball game i in the game off of seven receptions 235 yards and one total TD. Going into our next game against the number 15 seed, 5-1 and one Oklahoma on second and six. This was a statement game. Boom! Get off of me. And as you can see, we were showing these boys early that we are not scared to play a ranked team. And on third and inches, I put it on his head top. These boys suck. Going into the next ball, second and ten. They Quantavis Paducah, the six calls for that ball and he sees nothing but that end zone and he could and he would go all the way for six and he is fired up. Going into the next ball, second and ten. Look at the release off of the line. Oh my God, he is a king at that. And on second and 10, he sees that end zone again. But going into the next ball, third and nine, he is not playing. He's calling for that ball. He dunks on him, but he gets a pretty good hit on him. Getting down to that goal line on first and goal, I go a slant route and made him look like a little boy. But on second and four, I will burn the other DB. And I could and I would take it all the way for six. But going into the next play to put the icing on the cake on first and 10, I catch it on that sideline, break a tackle because you can't stick me boy and I will go all the way for six and I was turned up he absolutely did the job and went out there and showed them boys that was a statement game but I get player of the game 11 reception 455 yards and eight total TDs on the our next game against the number 10 C5 and one Baylor this is another statement game and on first and 10 whoa I stepped out of bounds I was almost going and on second and one as you can see I will dive in like I'm Superman cuz I'm that man and I break another receiving TD record and I am not here to play at Kansas I'm that man but on first and 10 as you can see I will absolutely burn him break one tackle oh my god I tried to stop and keep going but I got brought down here as you can see it is 7 to 7 and I will separate us with another TD to take us up 14 to 7 but going into the next one first and 10 I run across that middle and dive in the end zone because I wasn't going to make it if I would have kept running but going into the next one first and 10 I don't know what this DB was doing he was backing away from me but I will take it because I will go all the way for 6 I mean Daquan Tavis Baduki the 6 is a player that will take the heart out of a team it was 31 to 28 and he will take it all the way for six late in the fourth quarter and he breaks another school receiving td record and he is not playing this freshman is amazing but we were going to win the game and i get player of the game with eight reception 303 yards and five total tds going to our next game against four and three texas longhorns and this is my rival game because they thought boom i was gonna commit there but i didn't on third and five as you can see that was a crazy run over and he could go all the way for six and that was crazy and on third and 
three. He will go deep and catch another TD early. Daquan Tavis Baduki the six did not have to do them like that, but he is showing Texas Longhorns why he did not commit there. Their defense is horrible. But going into the next ball on third and three, I catch another TD because I'm not playing with them. Going into the next ball on second and six, I catch a long pass and I about got loose, but I got shoestring. And Coach talked to me out of the game, said, we will need you over here, but y'all not getting me. I'm going to the SEC. But I get player of the game with six receptions, 248 yards, and four total TDs. Going into our next game against five and three Oklahoma State. As you can see, I drove him out of the club and put him out of bounds because that boy was not strong enough. But going into the next ball, first and 10, I go up and get that ball, but I get hit as soon as I caught it. But on third and five, as you can see, I run a slant across that middle and go in for six. But going into the next ball, first and 10, oh my God, I hit him with a crazy move. Got back outside and catch that ball, and I will, and I could, and I would go all the way for six. Now here, as you can see, going into the next ball, second and 12, I left him again, and this time I will break a tackle, try to go back inside, but he came and rallied that ball, but on third and 20, I catch it across that middle, break a tackle, break another one, and almost broke loose. But here, as you can see, we are down by 10, so I catch another pass to try to get us back in that game, but as you can see, we have now taken the lead, and on second and 10, I catch that ball, and I said, I'm going to separate us from these boys, because these boys are not on our level, so I take it all the way for six. I told Coach, don't take me out of the game. I want to run the score up on first and 10. Boom, get out of my way. I ran him over, and I will keep going all the way for six. And as you can see, I score another one. We're going to win the ball game, and I get player of the game with 10 receptions, 407 yards, and five total TDs. Starting this game against six and four West Virginia. On first and 10, I get the outside release and catch the ball and get up that field with a 35-yard reception to start the game off early in 10. And on first and 10, I catch another pass, and this time I'm going for six. I dive in that end zone because I'm that man. They Quantavius Baduki the six. The freshman coming in at Kansas has just been outrunning all of these DBs every single game with the fly route. And that is just impressive. I mean, oh my God, Juke Juke. And he gets up that field with bad intentions. And that was just nasty. But I feel like he deserves to be in the SEC or a stronger program where competition is needed. On second and 14, he catches another pass. And he cannot be stopped. And as you can see, he goes in with another one. Going into the next play, he had a slant route, but he went on a fly route instead. And Juke Juke, he breaks a tackle, gets up that field, and he has one man to beat, and he could juke, and he gets hit. He almost kept going, but as you can see, he breaks another school receiving yard record. But going into the next one, second and 14, he is going on that streak route, and he will not be catched. He could, and he would go all the way for six, and we will go on and win the ball game. I get player of the game with 12 receptions, 427 yards, and five total TDs. Going into our next game against 3-7 and seven, Iowa State on first and 10, I outside release, but I came back inside, caught that ball, broke a tackle and almost broke loose because Daquan Tavis Baduka the six is that man and on first and ten he runs a street ride about got interception but he caught the ball somehow some way but here as you can see going into the next one second and eleven he thought I was going inside but I bounced it back outside and as you can see I caught that ball and that boy is bad he breaks a tackle and get up that field with bad intentions and dives because he's that man again once again and on second and five he catches that ball and he will get loose he has one man to beat and you will not catch him he will speed boost to that end zone with bad intentions but going into the next one third and five as you can see they were in some type of cover two and the db didn't stick me but i go in for another one and on second and ten i catch that ball and juke juke oh my god he about broke loose but things got serious it was 38 to 38 in overtime and he throws it up to me and the ball will get intercepted and i got mad and went and go hit him but going into the next play we get another chance on fourth and ten and this is me but i dropped the ball and as you can see we were going to lose our first game and i in the game off for seven catches 252 yards and three receiving tds going into our next game against the number 23 CA and three Kansas State on first and 10. Started off intense. I ran a deep post and caught the ball and got tackled with a 30 yard reception. But going into the next one, first and 10, as you can see, I will break one tackle. And when I hit that outside, there is no catching. Daquan Tavis Baduki to six. Oh my God. This is the conference championship game. Whoever wins will win this conference. And as you can see on third and 10, I will catch that ball and get up that field with bad intentions. Here, as you can see on second and goal, I will run a slant route and score for the TD and he tackled me. That was a flag for delay hit. But on second and inches, as you can see, I will tap one foot. Tony toe tapper. Oh my God. But on first and 10, as you can see, I will catch the ball again. And this time I will dive in that end zone. But going into the next play, I just wanted to relay the message that we are the new team to be in town. And on second and three, I could and I would go all the way for six. And as you can see, we will go on to win the ball game. I get player the game with eight receptions, 333 yards, and four total TDs. And as you can see, Daquan Tavius Baduki the six win Heisman. And he he will also pick up the Robert Maxwell Award, the Walter Camp Award, and the Balenton Nikoff Award. And doing this.
minutes as a freshman is just incredible. Going into our next game against the number four seed Georgia Bulldogs in our bowl game on third and four, I had to relay the message that I am a SEC breed and I will show y'all that I am not scared of you. And on first and 10, Daquan Tavis Baduki to six. Oh my God, he breaks a tackle and will go in for six. Now here, as you can see on second and seven, he runs a fly route and these DBs will still scared of him. He dives in the end zone because he's that man. And on second and one, oh my God, look at the separation that he created. He will go all the way for six. But going into the next play on second and four, as you can see, he runs another streak route and he jukes. Oh my God, he breaks a tackle. Juke, oh my God, he made him look crazy, but he gets brought down at the one. That would have been a crazy TD and he burns him again and he is gone all the way and dives in the end zone to bring his team to 28 to 42 and he catches another crazy pass and this time he will go all the way and he gets tripped up. Here as you can see on first and goal, I wasn't letting back. I was trying to bring us back in the game, but that just was not enough. The Georgia Bulldogs go on and beat us and I in the game off of 13 catches and 436 yards and five receiving TDs. But as you can see, this is the end of Daquan Tavis Baduki, the sixth freshman season. Drop in the comments down below if he deserves to return to Kansas or he deserves to hit the transfer portal. This is Trentavious Paduki the seventh and he is here to earn some offers. He is straight out of Alabama and he is 6'5", 325 intercepting that ball with bad intentions. And one thing about Trentavious is his dream school has always been Alabama Crimson Tide. The coach has always said if you practice how you play and translate it to that field you would in no time get that offer from Alabama Crimson Tide. I mean after three games of balling out his senior year Nick Saban hit him up and threw him the offer. But there was only one problem. Nick Saban didn't want him to come down there and play D-line. He wanted him to join the offensive line. Tavius Baduki the seventh was extremely excited to go, so he packed his bag and said, Coach, I'm on the way. Brent Baduki the seventh was a boom automatic starter coming into Alabama. I mean, if you come in and start as a freshman at Alabama, you have great chances of going to the National Football League. And just look at that great hole I created for that running back. And on second and seven, I will pull, get up that field and knock him off his rockers. Get on the ground. I mean, Trentavious Baduki the seven is a monster in those trenches. But as you can see, he was holding up and we would go in to score. But on second and one, I was locking him down. He had nowhere to go. He couldn't knock hands down, get wrists or forearms. He couldn't do anything. One thing that Trentavious Baduki the seven will do is clamp you up and box you down and throw you out of the club. But on first and goal, he will throw him out of the club because he's not a grown man. You are not on the same level as me. I mean, growing up in a household of six brothers, I mean, we were always tough on each other. But as you can see, we will go on and win the game 21 to 14 in our season opener. On to our next game against the number five seed, 2 and 0 Texas A&M. I absolutely laid a great bar for the running back, but on first and 10, as you can see, I was locking him down. I sat down on it and the quarterback delivered the blow. That was a great pass, but on second and five, I was dropping him out of club and then boom, get out of my way. You're not on the same level as me, but on second and 10, I absolutely threw him into the running back. Here, as you can see on third and 12, Bryce Young is going to have the best protection all season. On second and four, I mean, they are clamped down. They are not getting any pass rush to the quarterback, but on second and five, as you can see, I was sitting in la-la land and let him run past me, but I went and covered the ball. And that could have went bad, but on first and goal, as you can see, I was holding up and we will go in for another TD, but on first and 10, I was driving them and made them fall on that ground. Man, we would kneel the ball and go on and win the ball game. We win our second game 30-14. to 14. On the tar, boom, our next game against Owen 2 Colorado State started off intense. I absolutely bull rushed him, and as you can see, Gibbs get up that sideline, and I mean, I was all the way in the back, but they were going for almost six, but I will throw him on the ground, and we will finally go in for six. Going to the next one on third and 12, the D-lineman came off and did not shoot his hand, so I absolutely boxed him up. Going to the next one on first and 10, there was a screen play, and as you can see, I will get up the field, lay up block, and the tight end will absolutely hit that sideline, and he could, and he would take it all the way for a TD, and on second and goal, I pull, bam, oh my god! He got absolutely obliterated, and on first and 10, I pull again, and I will be the lead blocker, push him out of the way, and Gibbs will get up that sideline for six, and on first and 10, I was sitting down and threw him out of that club. Son, you don't belong on the same field as me. I mean, this freshman is just having the time of his life out there. Trentavious Baduki the seven is the next big thing in college football, and on second and inches, he absolutely takes ACL, MCL out, so you better get out of way and on second and six he takes it out again and we're going to win the game on the turn next game again boom oh my god the number 25 seed two in one old miss as you can see i boomed him early on and john Merrick gets up that sideline and goes for a pretty big gain and on second and goal i will drive
drive him out of the club and we were going for a TD. And on first and 10, I knocked him down. Playing offensive line and defensive line is not an easy task. I mean, you hit every single play. You have to be well conditioned. Coach wanted to go for it on fourth and goal. I pulled and couldn't find a block on anyone. We would get a turnover down, but on first and 10, I absolutely threw him on the ground, but it was still a negative three yard rush and I boomed him to ACL MCL out and we would go on and win another game 14 to zero. On to our next game against three and one Georgia State. I absolutely, he couldn't get off of me. My gloves, when I hit you in your chest, they will stick like glue. I promise you. And I took ACL MCL out. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to come and knock you off of your rockers. The thing about D-line is you have to have get off. I played it before and I already know what a D-lineman is going to do before they even get their hand in that dirt. So I'm coming down to knock your buckles loose. So you better watch out. Xavier's Paducah to seven. Bam, he's trying to hurt you every time. So get out of the way like I said. But going into the next one, first and 20, he absolutely takes him out. But the running back got no gain. But on first and 10, he took him out and made him do a front flip. I mean, we going to win another ball game. And this time we win 24 to six. Going to our next game against two or three Kentucky. Just look at the pass pro across the whole board. And Trayshawn Holden will take it all the way for a six early on. On first and goal, I will pull and boom. Oh my God. First and 10, I'm coming to take your legs out. So get out of the way. Trentavious Baduki the seventh favorite move is to chop block you. I mean, it's kind of a cheap shot, but he's a dirty offensive lineman. But on third and four, he was holding up. And as you can see, JoJo Earl takes it in for six. But on second and three, look at that pass pro. He couldn't get him. He was clamped. He uh, When I say anchor down, I'm anchoring down. I will throw you out of that club. Back in the day, his father, Jet Baduki, also played offensive line and D lineman. So he has gave him great tips on how to be a dirty offensive lineman. But as you can see, we will go on and win the ball game. This time we will win 28 to 0. On to our next game against 5 and 2 Arkansas. Look how I pass off and boom him. Oh my God. That's a way to transition onto another block. But on second and five, as you can see, I threw him out of the club. I, I mean, I took his ACL MCL out and on second and goal, I was absolutely sitting on it. Don't you ever try to do a spin move on me, kid. As you can see on first and goal, the tackle passed off and I absolutely anchored down on him. But on first and ten, I was sitting down on him. How embarrassing. Look at him. He tripped over his feet. But on first and ten, we took him almost like the blind side. We about took him to the stand. As you can see, we have a counterplay. I absolutely take him out and Gibbs absolutely runs him over. But on second and three, I throw him down and threw him out of that club. Come on, man. Travis Paducah the seven is looking for a target. Every time he gets out on that field, he will lay a good block for his teammate to go for six. But as you can see, we go on to win the game and we will win 52 to seven. Oh my God. On the turn next game against the number seven seed, Tennessee. I took a cheap shot early on. I'm trying to hurt them any chance I can because they have not took a loss on their season yet. So we're trying to do anything we can, any chance we can. And I told you, I'm trying to take them out by any means possible. Antavius Baduki the seven is trying to take the same route that his brother did. Derek Baduki Jr. was a former running back for Alabama Crimson Tide and he had gotten drafted in the NFL. I mean, Trentavious had looked up to him after his whole career. He was his first brother to make it to the league. I mean, how special is that? Well, one minute in the fourth quarter, we are down by five points, and it is fourth and 26 with 21 seconds to go, and Bryce Young will put it on the money to Prentice, and he will go all the way to the one-yard line, and it is game time. We are going to win this game, and on first and goal, we will punch it in to take us up. We will go on and win the ball game, and as you can see, we will win it 15-14. That was a close one. On the next game against 5-4 and four LSU, I absolutely chop blocked them, and Gibbs will get up that sideline and get the first down early on. And on first and 10, boom, get on that ground. I absolutely manhandle him, and as you can see, McLean will take it all the way for six. But on first and 10, I was absolutely anchoring down and made sure I tried to chop block him, but he wasn't going for it. He put his hands on my head, but we still got a pretty big game. As you can see, I'm an ankle biter, so get out of my way like I always say. But as you can see, boom, oh my God, that's how you translate to the next block. You throw one out of the way and you move on to the next level. And on first and 10, he was trying to spin on me, but I was sitting down on it. And I take him out again. Son, you need some help because you cannot mess with Trentavious Baduki the seven. But as you can see, we were double teaming him. And look at that hole we created for Gibbs. He will take it all the way for six. And we will kneel the ball the old fashioned way and go on to beat LSU 31 to 15. On the turn next game against Mississippi State, on first and 10, I shuffled down a line and anchored down on him and clamped him up. He got no way.
way to the quarterback. And on the first play of the game, we will take it all the way for six. But on first and ten, I will pull and lay a good block. And Gibbs will get up that left sideline. And he almost goes for six, but he get pushed out. But I almost took him to the stands. I told him, hey, you are not going to stand a chance with me this whole game, brother. So you might as well just give up now. And I took ACL MCL out. Going into the next one, first and ten. Boom, get out of my way, kid. But Gibbs got tackled for a loss. But on second and 11, we will double team him and put him on his knees. Hey, yo. But going into the next play, I had no one to block and I cleaned his clock. Oh, my God. But we will go on and win the ball game. And as you can see, we will go on to beat Mississippi State 37 to 35. That was a close one. Going into our next game. Boom. That's one pancake. Boom. That's two pancake. And you know what we call those? A double pancake. -y. But on first and 10, I was trying to move to the next level, but I tripped over myself. But as you can see, we will go on to score and boom, boom. That's another double pancake. And Trent Tavius Paducah the seventh would not out here to play. Boom. Oh my God. He will be an all American, but on first and 10, as you can see, boom. Oh my God. He moves to the next level and throws him on the ground. That's another double pancake. -y. But on first and 10, as you can see, he was sitting down on it, and threw him out of the club and absolutely threw him out of the club. And boom, he cleaned his clock or did knock his buckles loose. But on first and 10, he was sitting down and took HCL MCL out. At this point, he's trying to hurt him, but he will go in and play a big block for his running back Gibbs to go in for six. But as you can see, we will go on and win another game. This time was a blowout. 45 to zero. Coach said he was getting us donuts. On the tour next game against six and five Arvin. I lay a good block, but he just could not find a hole. So he got put down. And on second and three, as you can see, Bryce Young's deliver it to Ja'Cory Brooks. And I tried to run down the field with him, but I got tired halfway. I got down there. Going into the next one, second and one. As you can see, I was clamping him up. That defensive line just could not get a pass rush and I mean that's what you call a good pass bro from left to right and on first and ten we were taking in for six and on second and six I was blocking them and Gibbs hit that hole because I said it for him but as you can see I took AC MCL out you might want to get out of the way as you can see on second and goal he tried to run away from me I said no sir come here I will clamp you down but we will go on and win another game and this time we will win 42 to 14 on into the conference championship game against number six seed 11 and one George I absolutely took his legs out and almost made him fall, but he just didn't. But on first and goal, I was sitting on it, and we were going with the first touchdown of the game. And on second and four, I about grabbing him with one hand to show him how much of a grown man I am. But on first and goal, I will pull and knock him out of the club, and Gibbs almost goes in for six. But he did not. But just look at this pass pro on the goal line. We will shift down. I will get back to him. He would deliver it to Ja'Cory Brooks. But as you can see on first and ten, we were sliding, and I could not get to another one. I tripped up. But on second and ten, I did. And this time, I boomed him. And made sure to put him on that ground. But we were going to nail the ball. And we will go on and win the conference championship. 31 to 15. We were turned up. Here as you can see, Jamir Gibbs, the running back for Alabama Crimson Tide, wins Heisman. On to the national championship game against the number two seed, 13 and OUSC. I'm doing anything to try to take you out. Because I want a ring. And I'm going to go get a ring by any means. But on third and goal, as you can see, I took him out again. I was wearing this defensive line out. And I mean. I mean, I pulled and laid a block on him, and Gibbs will get up that field, but he gets hit. But on first and 10, as you can see, I was sitting on it and almost threw him out of that club, but he just got lucky, and oh my God. Bryce Young delivers a 46-yard reception, but on first and 10, as you can see, we were sliding with the double team. Oh my God. But on third and 24, I was sitting down on it, and he just tripped over himself, but we get another double team, and I tripped over myself, but we were going to nail the ball, and as you can see, we are national champions. We will go on and beat them 16-10. That was a pretty close one. Rentavius Paducah to seven as a freshman ended his season off with 22 pancakes and only let up three sacks. But as you can see, he was an all NCAA first. It is time to put them in the chance to win a national championship. And Bones Paducah the Ninth is going for Heisman. Bones Paducah the Ninth being named the number one cornerback. I'm not going to lie. All of his teammates are kind of hating on him. So he has to show out. But oh my God. Just look at Bones. He intercepts that ball and he said, Coach, yes, sir. You got the best cornerback that came out of high school football. And I will be better than these seniors. I'm not going to lie. Everyone on social media was, oh my God, that's a one hand interception. They were all. All talking about Bones but good at night because he didn't go to a big SEC. Bones wanted to show out at another team that's lower and he wants to go get them a championship. But as you can see, he is running all the way across that field and bam! 
Boom! Oh my god. And when I say come out to practice intense, Bones is coming out very intense. I mean, if I was a seer, I would be hating on him too. That kid is a stud. But as you can see, look at him. He will intercept a ball again, and he is not playing in practice. I mean, it's only practice, Bones. Paducah the ninth is not even the game. But Coach said, good job practicing in. You're in no danger of losing that starting position. On to our first game, it's a rainy game. And Bones Paducah the ninth really don't like the rain, but he still has to come out and show out in his first game and on first and 10 he gets a tackle but they had a gain of too much he got the first down but on second and seven boom that's how you lower your shoulder and somebody bones but as you can see on first and 10 he almost had his first interception but he just couldn't locate the ball but on first and 10 boom oh that wasn't a boom but he still hit him hard but on second and 13 he comes down and boom that's what i'm talking about baby you clean the clock every time but on third and 19 as you can see he will locate the no, he will not locate the ball. He will drop the ball. But as you can see, we still going to win the game. He ends the game off seven total tackles. On to our next game against FCS East. They know better to throw it bones, but Dookie, wait, you better throw that ball out of bounds because it would have got picked off. But on third and one, he comes over and lays a big hit on this running back. But on first and ten, they have a sweet play, and Bones Badu could come across the field and lay another tackle. But on second and three, he's still kind of bam, searching for his first interception. And will he catch it? Yes, he will. Yes, sir. Bones Badu at ninth will. Oh my God! Get out of the way. He will go. Oh. D, way four, six, and he dives because he's that man. But on first and goal, I'm not going to lie. They drove down the field and scored on us, but they still lost. Bones in the game off with three total tackles and one interception. Not a so good game, but he finally got his first interception. On to our next game against Arizona State. They are 1-0, and, oh, and they have to take their first L. Boom, that's a way to throw him to that sideline. But Bones, but good at ninth, has to crank it up a notch. If he wants to be a Heisman, I mean, the stats that he had in the first two games is not good stats. But boom, that's how you clean that quarterback clock. But on second and four, he comes out and make another hit for a tackle for loss. I'm not going to lie to you. When it comes to rallying that ball, he's going to be the first one to it with bad intentions as well. But on first and goal, as you can see, they run a read option and score on us. It's now 17 to 7. We have to shake back. But as you can see, he dives with the long arms that he has. He's using them to his full advantage. But as you can see, I don't like how that wide receiver absolutely boomed him. I mean, absolutely boomed him. But oh my god, he intercepts that ball at the end of the game. But we still going to lose it. He gave it all he had. He stepped it up five total tackles and one interception after losing our first game that's not too good for the team but bones is still gonna come out every game intense and he is not gonna give up this freshman is crazy but as you can see on second and one he was sent back in the deep thirds came back down and absolutely boomed him oh my god but on first and ten he ah oh, that was an interception but he slipped up and has to do better on his feet Bam! oh my god that's how you hurt somebody and put them out for the game yes sir but on second and two as you can I was in the deep thirds, but I read it and came down and made another tackle. He is running these stats up this game. But on third and four, he almost had an interception. Get on that ground, boy. But on second and five, as you can see, he was back in his zone and he got burned. That is not like Bones, but he had absolutely got the tackle. But on first and ten, that's how you hit somebody behind the line of scrimmage. We take the game into overtime. It's 21 to 14. The running back breaks my tackle. Will he get in? No, he will not. And that's a turnover downs. Bones Baduka tonight ends the game off with 11 total tackles and two tackles for a loss. Going into our next game against the Ohio State. They are ranked number three and they are undefeated. So Bones Baduka tonight, they are already doubting you because you are a freshman. And that's how you come out in to Show them boys who you are. But as you can see on second and six, he was relentless to the ball all night. I mean, absolutely laying the boom and doing everything that he can to show them boys that he is not scared of contact. And he doesn't care if you're a senior or a second year senior. Bam, oh my God. That's how you hit somebody. But on first and 10, he comes down and Boom! Oh my god. If you are a freshman doing things like this, you are different. He went in and got a sack for his team to push the ball to third down. But as you can see, look at him. He gets another sack. That boy's fought up. But as you can see on first and 10, they have a read option and he hits them behind that line of scrimmage again. But on fourth and six, they threw the ball to the other side and they will score to take it up 21 to 21. But Bones Baduki stayed relentless, stayed in the zone. He didn't catch the interception, but he pushed them out of bounds. And guess what? Another sack. I mean, just name somebody in college football that's better than Bones, Paducah the Knights. But they read option the ball, and guess what? We pick it up in overtime, and we could, and he would go. The D lineman went all the way for six, but the flag was on Bones, Paducah. But guess what? We still going to win the game. And that right there is Heisman stats for Bones, Paducah the Knights. On to our next game against Northwestern on first and ten. Bones, Paducah had 
an interception, but he dropped the ball. But on second and 10, he was not in his zone, but he ran all the way across the field to make a tackle. That's still a gain of too much for them. They can't get that many yards. But with the long arms he has, he uses it to his advantage and makes the tackle. But he could have had an interception if he would have baited that right. I'm not going to lie. Bones Badooka tonight has been balling out. Out. But as you can see, he gets a tackle for loss with his teammate. But guess what? He goes for the sack somehow, some way. He got that pass off. That's unbelievable. I mean, that kid was like Patrick Mahomes. But as you can see, Bones Baduka tonight gets the interception. Will he return it? He will break one tackle and go down. But on first and 10, as you can see, he almost had another one and he made a tackle with two defenders in front of. On third and 10, as you can see, Bones Baduka tonight almost missed this tackle, but somehow, some way, he brought him down. But on second and one, they ran a screenplay, but he absolutely bimped him. That's how you put your shoulder in someone's chest. Bam! That's another big hit by Bones Baduka that night. And on 4th and 10, he was sitting in his zone. And guess what? He gets another interception. And he had an awesome game. He gets player of the game with 7 total tackles and 2 interceptions. Going into our next game against 2-3 and three Illinois on 2nd and 13. Bones Baduka that night came down and rap and rolled him. Them Gator Rolls are paying off. And on 3rd and 1, he went and got a sack. But somehow, some way, he got that ball off. But on 1st and 10, they had me on this slant route but I caught up and made a tackle, but that was still a gain of too much, but on first and goal, Bones wasn't going for it. He said, you guys are not getting in this end zone. I'm sorry. But as you can see, he comes down and boom, he didn't even have a chance to turn around. That's how you hit somebody. But as you can see, he drops the interception. Come on, Bones. But he will come down and boom, absolutely flat iron him. Put him to bed. Night, night. But as you can see, on third and 13, he was in man to man, sitting there just waiting, baiting up, and I almost had it an interception, but guess what? That interception turned into my teammate getting an interception. This game coming down to why we have to go out and get a stop, and on second and eight, Bones go up and drops the ball. I mean, I don't know if he has butterfingers or what, but he has to catch something. But on third and two, is he absolutely... <laughs> He thought he had me beat, but Bones Baduki the ninth came and retreated and will take it all the way to the house to win the ball game. We're going to win. He's the game off of nine total tackles and one interception. Going into our next game, we are not losing anymore. I mean, after our first loss, we have been getting win after win after win. And on first and 10, he was sitting in a man to man and read the other wide receiver and intercepts that ball. I mean, that's how you do it, Bones Baduki the ninth. But on second and nine, he comes over and bam, makes that Boy, fumble, and guess what? My teammate hops on the ball. But on second and 13, they have another read option, and I'm lurking them all game. I'm talking about I'm coming down. <laughs> But that's how you clean somebody clock. But on third and two, I was sitting in my zone. He throws to the other side of the field. Stiff arms his way into the end zone. We going to lose the game. Bones didn't have us so bad when he had six total tackles and one interception and one forced fumble. To our next game against three and five BYU. Boy, boy, boy. It's going to be a game. That quarterback burst across that sideline and Bones went to go make the tackle. But on second and 12, as you can see, they run a jet sweep. But I will hit him behind that line of scrimmage. I was fired up. I said, there's nowhere to go, buddy. But on first and 10, I was sitting there almost had an interception but he will cut it back up and take it for six we are not having a great start but on second and 10 i will come down almost intercept that one and throw him to that ground but on first and 10 i was waiting in man to man and dropped the ball come on butter fangus but on third and 10 i make up for it and guess what i catch it this time and i was absolutely turned up with the team and we will go on and win the ball game he only had two total tackles and one interception on into our next game again against 4-5 and five Indiana, and on 1st and 10, that boy Bones came down and boomed him, but on 1st and 10, he was staying in his zone again and dropped the ball. I mean, I don't know how many drops he got, but he has a lot, but as you can see, as soon as you catch that ball, he's putting you to the ground, but on 1st and 10, he comes back on this one and drops it again. I mean, I don't know what's going on in his head and what's going on with his hands, but on 3rd and 3, as you can see, he was sitting there, and I mean, the quarterback threw the ball, and he will hit him, but guess what? He still got the first down. If we want to be a great team that's absolutely, boom, a gain of too much. But on first and ten, they throw the slant route, and I boomed him too. I mean, on third and seven, I'm waiting for everybody to catch that ball, and boom, you gonna feel me every time. But on third and three, they want to read option. I absolutely forklifted that quarterback. But on third and three, I finally pick up my first interception of the game, and will I return it? Ooh, we. I boy get outside, he breaks one tackle, and he will get brought down. We going to lose another game. Bones in the game off with eight total tackles and one interception. After 
after taking another loss, we are not even ranked anymore, and our championship hope is down the drain. But on second and one, as you can see, Minnesota drives all the way down the field and scores on us early. They are not here to play with us. But as you can see, Bones Paduka in the ninth picks up an interception, but he steps right out of bounds. But on second and seven, he was kind of got burnt, but he made up for it and put it on this wide receiver head top. And he said he is not playing with anyone but on third and five as you can see he wasn't in his zone and he got burned and let up a touchdown i don't know what he's doing out there but on first and ten bam get back on your feet son but i mean when they beat us they act like they won the championship but we're going to lose another game and bones in the game off of four total tackles and two interceptions i mean after taking about three losses in a row bones baduka the ninth is probably gonna transfer after this season but on third and 11 he absolutely lays the boom and on fourth and four he was not in his own and let up another touchdown i mean he is kind of gave up on the season and just uh, he, he's ready to be done but on first and 10 he almost had an interception but dropped the ball but on to the next one on second and 12 bones was getting blocked up while this quarterback absolutely took off and went all the way to the house i mean we're getting absolutely whooped we're getting toasted but on first and 10 guess what he said he's not gonna back down he's gonna fight adversity and come back in this ball game but on third and 17 he come outside and booms that running back but on second and one the running back gets outside and he will punch it in four six we're going to lose our fourth game in a row but with that being said, Bones Paducah the ninth had a fantastic freshman season.